Hi. Throughout history, we have seen some brilliant minds. There was Leonardo da Vinci who conceived of the idea of people flying before anybody else had thought of it. There was Walt Disney who invented entire worlds in his mind that people had never thought of. But perhaps the most brilliant mind of all was Albert Einstein. Of course, he invented some amazing theories about the way the universe works when he was in his 20s. But later in life, he became even more valuable to the world by helping to simplify incredibly complex things and make them understandable by everybody. So imagine if you could have that kind of power in an application that you could use to deliver insights to the business users in your company. That would be pretty incredible, right? And that's what we're here to talk about today. Einstein Analytics is named for Albert Einstein because it can do many of those kinds of things. Well, I'm David Gibbons. I'm with the Einstein Analytics product marketing team. And over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to explore what is Einstein? How can you use it to build predictions with the data that you're probably already working with every day? And how does it relate to the work that you might be doing with Tableau? In other words, how can you get it to interact with Tableau in interesting ways? We'll get to what, that towards the end. First, a little bit of housekeeping. We are going to talk about some future capabilities here. And because Salesforce is a public company, please rely only on the currently available products and features when you make a purchasing decision. Also, I'd really like to say thank you. Thank you if you're currently a customer of Tableau and Salesforce for joining this session, for investing in our product, for giving us that vote of confidence, for giving us feedback about the product, and for helping us to make it better. All of those things give us the passion for what we do in terms of building these products, and we appreciate it. So let's roll the clock up back about one year. Tableau, as you know, was acquired by Salesforce in the middle of 2019. And that brought together these two incredible companies that both have an amazing passion for doing the right things for customers and for using data to understand what customers want. Tableau, of course, the market leader in creating insights and helping people explore data. And Salesforce, this product line that has this incredible repository of customer data that has to do with everything about how companies interact with their customers. Now, there's a lot of products at Salesforce, and we're not going to try to go through them all here. But take a look at this. This is the customer 360. The 360 is really a way to think about how you can bring together data about every part of your interaction with your customers, whether that's through how you're selling to them before they become customers, how you service them after sales, how you do your marketing, how you sell to them through e-commerce, whatever that customer touch point is, the customer 360 helps to bring it all together in an organized fashion. And of course, that means that you get a 360 degree view of how your customer is interacting with your company. It also means that there's a tremendous amount of data there that lets you build some of the most useful analytic applications you can imagine. And we think that's really a virtuous cycle of innovation. You can use the data that's in the CRM to get insights about the behaviors that your customers have. That data can then drive different processes that improve the way you interact with your customers that in turn makes the customers want to interact with you even more and increases the number of digital channels you can use to con contact with them. And all of that, of course, can be leveraged by using Einstein as an artificial intelligence layer on top to help make sense of those huge repositories of data. When you get that working right, it's a real flywheel that can really drive progress in your business. So what is Einstein Analytics? I've talked a lot about Einstein and AI and its capabilities to do all those things. Well, Einstein Analytics is the analytics platform that's built on top of the customer 360. And that's a lot of what our topic here today is. It is basically a full stack BI platform that lets you create visualizations and use data to get insights about what's happening with customers. But it's also combined with this AI system that allows you to build predictions and understand what might happen in the future with customers. It's not included with every edition of Salesforce, but it is something that you can add on, particularly to the sales cloud and the service cloud. And many customers are choosing to do that because they want the individual workers who work daily inside sales cloud and service cloud to have the ability to use analytic insights and predictions to get better at what they do and to be more productive. And it's also something you can try for free, by the way. So I'm going to show you how to do that towards the end of this presentation. Now, you might be asking, why did you combine AI and BI? And is there really an advantage to bringing those things together? Because they're very often available as separate systems today. And we think they really are a natural pairing. For a start, 
it's really the same data that's going to drive both your visualizations and your insights from your BI tool that you'll use when you're building predictions in an AI tool. And bringing them together means you can present not just the insights that arise from looking at visualizations, but also the insights that arise from predictions and present those to business users at the same time. That really gives them the full suite of visibility into what could happen with a customer and makes them the most productive that they can be. So let's take a look at the, uh, the actual system in action. This is a view of the service cloud in this case, and I'm looking at an individual company's account and looking at all the cases that arose through this company. I can see the types of cases that, they're, that are giving them issues. Um, I can see predictions about what might happen in the future with churn for them, what their overall satisfaction is, and so on. On the right-hand side, I'm seeing a very specific prediction. This is an Einstein prediction telling me the likelihood that this customer might churn and if you read the text there, you'll see it's not just giving a prediction, it's explaining what the basis for that prediction is. And that's really important. Business users want to understand why is the system predicting that? In addition to that prediction, I can also get recommendations. Here's what I can do personally to improve the outcome with that customer. And that's, of course, a key part of boosting productivity at the individual level too. So because I'm still in the service CRM here, I can instantly take action on that recommendation and I can offer that customer a new offer, a new product, a replacement product, whatever is necessary to improve their outcome and make them a happier customer. And that's how we tie together the productivity that arises from the insights and the predictions into a happy whole. So that's really what our topic today is. It's about Einstein Analytics and how it is that combination of BI and AI. I'm going to show you how to build predictions and do various things with it. And the fact that it is native to Salesforce, it's built on the Salesforce CRM, which of course just makes it more fluid and flexible and easier to deploy. So let's start with how would you build a prediction? Well, the first and most important thing about using AI for predictions is you have to narrow it into a specific use case. You have to decide what is it that I want to predict? And for sales and service users, it's very often some of these examples that I'm putting on screen right now. It's things like, how can I make this customer more satisfied? What's the likelihood that they will churn? How can I decide which leads to follow up on because I want to prioritize the ones that are most likely to turn into business? Or what can I do to make this deal close faster or to close at a higher price? Once you pick that use case, you can then embed the prediction into the CRM that answers that specific question, that thing that you've identified as the most important or useful thing for that user to know. And let's take an example of a real company that's doing that just to turn this into a totally tangible thing. Uh, Accenture is a, a huge company that offers consulting services to their customers. They have about 400,000 employees worldwide, and about 30,000 of them are using predictions to help them understand what should I be proposing to customers and which of the proposals that I currently have out are most likely to close. And that becomes a really key piece of business information. If I can understand which of the contracts that I'm offering to customers to do consulting on are most likely to close, then I get greater revenue visibility. I can understand what kinds of staff need to be uh, earmarked to work on those projects. There's all kinds of things about the business that come into view once you have that insight. But to get that insight, you need to give it to those 30,000 people individually for the cases and for the customers that they are working with, as well as being able to aggregate it across the entire organization. So let's look at how you'll actually build a prediction in practice. This is the uh, main uh, studio where you'll create a new prediction. You start by saying that you want to create what we call a story. And the story involves you choosing what it is you want to improve. You're either going to maximize or minimize something, minimize churn or maximize sales or maximize the propensity to buy, whatever that might be. You can preview the data that will feed into that prediction, and you can bring in data from all over your CRM as well as external data. Uh, and then the real busy work happens behind the scenes, and fortunately, not something that you have to do. This is what Einstein does for us. Einstein crunches all that data together, looks at all the correlations between the data you fed it, and figures out which things contain the signal that answers that question that I originally gave it as part of my use case. And this readout here is showing me you know, depending on the billing cycle or the type of product that's involved, what is likely to happen. You'll end up with, with uh, several, maybe even dozens of predicted results that come back from a given data set. And you can go through the predicted results and figure out which ones are going to be the most effective. You can also use a bunch of very statistical methods to verify how good that prediction is based upon the data that you gave it. So you can really analyze, is it going to be accurate? And you can give it test data sets to make sure that that's the case. And of course, if you like the result that you've got, you're probably going to want to give it back to your business users. So you'll then go through this deployment step that you're seeing here. This is where you can take that prediction, 
and embed it back into the sales cloud or service cloud CRM so that your individual users can take advantage of that prediction while they're working. And in this case, we're embedding it back into an account page because it's a prediction for sales. So every time a salesperson looks at that account, they're going to get that prediction that tells them this is the likelihood that you are going to um, uh, sell to that customer and what the, the customer lifetime value will be in this particular case. So that's a real tangible example of how predictions combined with the analytics insights from BI work together to make individual users more productive. Okay, so that's a lot. Let us uh, blow away the cobwebs for a second, take a brief break, change gears, clear our minds. Here's a little fun game. Have a look at these quotations. These are all from people who are um, well known in the world of statistics or science or analysis or logic. See if you can match up the quotation on the left with the brilliant mind on the right who came up with that quotation. I will give you about 15 seconds to ponder that. And then after a bit of deep breathing, we'll come back and continue. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that game. Are you ready for the answers? Here are the people that said each of those. And I think the Albert Einstein quote about how sometimes success is down to keeping your mouth shut at the right time is probably my favorite there. Let's move on. So um, there's many other parts to Einstein analytics. Uh, I'd love to have time to show them all to you, but we won't have time for that today. As you can see on this slide here, it's a full stack. It basically includes everything from connecting external data shaping and modeling and transforming that data to make it ideal for your analytical or predictive application, creating visualizations, exploring the data, finding insights, building predictions, deploying that back to users. It, it really does include everything that you'd want to do to make that business user more effective. In terms of connecting data, people often ask, does it do external data? And that's a great question because I spent a lot of time today talking about using CRM data. Uh, but yes, it does include the ability to connect external data. And in fact, the majority of customers do exactly that. There's over 50 out-of-the-box connectors that allow you to bring in data from external data warehouses. And what we find is that customers tell us that it's really essential to bring in external data from other systems, other business systems, or just data that doesn't actually live in the CRM to complete that view to make their employees more effective. We've also been working with Snowflake to make an integration that lets you run queries directly on their data warehousing products. And that's something that's interesting for Tableau users, since there's already a great Tableau to Snowflake integration. And that means if Snowflake is your solution of choice, you can access that data through both Einstein Analytics and through Tableau to make sure that you can deliver your insights to everybody in your company. So let's take a look at how that works in practice. Uh, as I said, there's a 50 different connectors you can select from the main connector types here, plug in some credentials to connect to an external data source like Google BigQuery, uh, and then get a preview of the types of data that you're going to bring in. It will show you and, and let you select the fields that you import so you can import only the data that you need for your analytical application. And it will give you a great preview of what you're bringing in. So this helps you to make sure that you've got your hands on the right stuff. It also gives you uh, some Einstein guidance at this level. It will help you to spot errors or problems that it sees in your data or lack of data cleanliness in your data, gaps, nulls, things like that, that it's great to be aware of when you're bringing in data. If you need to do a more sophisticated data modeling and shaping job, there's a full ETL tool in there that lets you join together data from multiple disparate sources and to combine and key the data off different things. And there's even a full system for uh, doing for building data flows, for building uh, regular transformations that happen repeatedly. And this allows you to derive new fields, to do uh, calculations like table calculations that let you create entirely new fields in your data set that didn't exist before. Uh, and of course, to just transform the data from one format to another if you need to do that to make sure that it's ready for use. Now, once you've got that complete, you can start to explore your data. And if you're a Tableau user, you'll find this part very familiar too. You can use this explorer to slice and dice the data and to look at different cuts of it through different visualizations. This really helps with that process of discovering what the story the data has to tell is. You can use many different types of visualizations here, not quite as extensive a library as you'll find in Tableau, of course, but certainly all of the main visualization types that you'd expect to put in front of a business user. And uh, you can even build 
dashboards that contain multiple visualizations together. And the dashboards, of course, provide that richer interactive experience for users who want to slice and dice and examine different sets of data in an interactive fashion where everything will filter at once as they explore the dashboard. It's a really powerful system for producing exactly the right analytic experience for everybody in the organization, all the way from that embedded widget that you see in account page through to a full analytics application. Now, bear in mind, you can also take advantage of Salesforce's governance and security rules. And that means that users will only see the data that they have the entitlement to see. That takes care of a lot of the hard work of ensuring that the right visibility is available and that you meet whatever compliance regulations you have for your data. And lastly, when users act on that data, they'll be able to directly link from your dashboards straight to the accounts or cases or customer records that they're going to want to take action on. And that really ties together the actionability piece because it means that as you filter down to, say, a list of top customers that you want to reach out to today, you can instantly click on those customer names to visit their account pages and start to initiate that contact. So we covered quite a lot there, and I know it was a little bit of a whirlwind. Uh, we talked about the idea that this is a full BI platform, and as you can see, it does everything that you'd expect a BI platform to be able to do, but it combines that with the ability to build predictions and to embed them. And of course, it is native to Salesforce. You can bring in external data, but it is natively running on Salesforce, and that can give you a big deployment and uh, time to value advantage in terms of delivering your application to people as quickly as possible. Now, I promised earlier that we would talk about how it integrates with Tableau. And if you're a Tableau user, as I'm sure many of you are, that's got to be top of mind for you. Uh, of course, there's lots of possibilities there. The teams have been hard at work on all of that integration since the companies came together about 12 months ago. And we're going to make sure that it's really easy to access data sets through both tools so that as you shape and model a data set for one purpose, you can easily use it to share with a different set of users. But we're also going to do things like embedding predictions into Tableau dashboards so that the power of the AI that's in Einstein can also be available to users who are using the Tableau experience. And that's going to be a pretty big deal. I've got a demo of that to show you as well. This is a Tableau dashboard. It's actually part of a product called work.com, which helps people plan on how to reopen their businesses. And in this case, you're seeing a visualization of an organization that has hundreds of locations around the United States. And they've brought together the data about those locations, the number of employees there, and what's also going on with COVID-19 in that area so they can figure out where will it be safe or where will it be risky to reopen locations. It's a great combination of external data and internal data. And on the right, you see this prediction section. And this panel is giving you an Einstein prediction, just like the one that we built earlier. And the prediction is telling you what's likely to happen in terms of the number of employee sick days if each specific location is reopened. And it's very interactive. You can click on the Tableau dashboard to look at individual locations. You can see predictions that give you explanations for why that particular uh, predicted number of days is, is the case for this each location. And you can even select groups of locations. So if I select a group of locations at the top here, I can look at some of the locations that look at like they are the least risky. But you can see in the scatter part, uh, plot in the middle, there's one location that's looking a bit more uh, troublesome. So I can click on that and see an interactive prediction there for exactly what will happen if that location gets reopened, including the reasons why the prediction is showing that that one is an outlier and is lying ahead of the rest. Now, this, this type of interactivity, this is something that you can build with Einstein Discovery and Tableau dashboards today. Uh, that's uh, really what helps deliver that value even more broadly to business users, because uh, as I've been uh, explaining, we're all about embedding information in the CRM for the CRM user. But we also want to make sure that it's really easy to take predictions and reach even more business users by making it easy for you to embed those in other places. So you can embed in Tableau dashboards as well as in other business applications where people might benefit from that prediction. So I hope some of this has whet your appetite to learn a little bit more about Einstein Analytics. Uh, good news is I have some resources that will help you to do that. The first one is Trailhead. It's this fast and free and easy way to learn actually about all kinds of Salesforce products. But in particular, there's about 25 modules that teach you about Einstein Analytics. It's self-guided. You get free access to the product while you're working through these courses on Trailhead. And you can go all the way from the first steps, the really beginner activities, through to certification. So it's a pretty comprehensive set of tools to learn Einstein Analytics.
I also want to make you aware of this Einstein Analytics learning map that brings together not just the trails, but also blogs, help articles, and other resources that can help you fine tune the parts of the product line that you're most interested in becoming expert on. This really lets you create your own learning journey and decide which areas you're going to go deep on and how quickly. Very like Tableau, there is a thriving community of Einstein Analytics users. There's about 50,000 people on that community right now who are all interacting with each other, sharing tips and tricks, answering each other's power user questions, and of course, just networking professionally to know others who use Einstein Analytics. You'll also find some analytics champions on that community. Those are like ambassadors, the kind of power users of the Einstein Analytics world, folks who can really answer almost any question about the product, but also are dedicated to sharing their knowledge. They're the ones who really want to help others to learn. So keep an eye out for those if you join the community. So I hope you found something that, uh, that catches your interest today. If so, then please visit this URL, sfdc.co slash EA for data, and that will take you to the beginning of that learning journey. You'll get access to Trailhead, you'll get access to the Einstein Analytics products, and within a matter of a few minutes, you could be on your way to building your own predictions and visualizations using this tool. I want to thank you for spending time with me in this session, and I hope you enjoy the rest of our event. Bye-bye.